Um, Night Talk is back. <laughs> I mean, probably to y'all, Night Talk ain't really went nowhere. But um, I'm back monetized, bro. Finally. Finally, right? You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I've kept y'all up to speed a little bit as to what's been going on behind the scenes, man. But finally, four months later, your boy is monetized. Again, first of all, I want to say thank you to everybody that's been checking up on me. You know what I mean? Asking me how things is going, providing me inside information, trying to help out, trying to get me re-monetized. But <laughs> none of it helped, dog. <laughs> none of it helped, bro. YouTube has been a bitch, at least to me, right? At least to me. But, you know, we here now. And it may seem like I'm not excited or enthused to be monetized again, dog. I'm a realist, bro. You know what I mean? And if it ain't this time, it's going to be some other shit, bro. Because what took place, at least with, at least with my channel, bro, was entirely unfair. It, whatever, it wasn't right. It was some bullshit. And, you know what I mean? <laughs> bro, like, pretty much we don't like what you're doing. And we're gonna make life hard for you, bro. You know what I mean? But this is this is what you sign up for talking about the things I'm talking about, bro. But and I, I realize that, man. But there's plenty of other motherfuckers out here saying the same shit, if not worse shit than I'm doing with much larger platforms than than I have. So I don't know what it is that they got the sights on me for, bro. You know what I mean? Like I thought I could just make a damn video telling y'all what was going on, calling YouTube out, and they reach out to me and say, hey, man, my bad, we fucked up. No, nah, not with me. <laughs> not with me, bro. They, I've had to fight this uphill battle to get monetized for the moment again until they take it away for some other bullshit, bro. But I ain't even here to for that, like, bitch in the moment. I just wanted to let y'all know what was going on behind the scenes, man. And, like, providing help for anybody else out there struggling with YouTube or is thinking about doing this content creation shit. Bro, like, real talk, if you if you are on the left, right, and you in the woke world and, you know, following that narrative, you, you hey, you're going to make a lot of money. It's going to be real easy for you. It ain't going to be no fight at all, dog. You know, other other side, you know what I'm saying, it's telling the truth. You know, you know what they say, man, like, that means you're doing something right if they're trying to silence you, bro. Yeah, that's valid. But if they silence me, then it's all for not, right? I can't, I can't do shit, bro. Like, YouTube, I have the biggest voice on YouTube, right? Speaking of that, I got the biggest voice on YouTube, so I had to keep this train going as much as I could in the meantime, in between time, man. But if, if y'all with me here, bro, please, you know, check in some other platforms and follow me there in case some other shit happens to me where I'm not, you know, able to do this any longer because this shit literally be taken away from you at any given moment. It's whack, bro. It's whack because, you know, I, we put up, we all put a lot of work into this, building communities, come with y'all and shit. And, you know, YouTube literally has you by the balls because there's been plenty of times where I was thinking, man, just get, you know what I mean, I'm going to just, you know, focus on my other channel or, you know, do my rumble and all that, bro. But it's like, I, you once you built something here, you take pride in what you built, you have relationships with the people that follow you here and just to give all that up because YouTube is making it difficult for you, bro. Like, they, they, they literally have you by the balls on top of the fact that they you get, you know, paid from it. But fortunately for me, I'm diversified. Now I don't rely just on my night talk ish for income, even though they have taken a substantial amount of income away from your boy. But it is what it is, bro. Like this is just this is what you got to deal with, man. Um, yeah, but so like if you you don't know, they took my monetization away because they said I reuse content without making any substantial changes to anything, which was capped. Right. But at that time, the first time they demonetized me, I was on the way that you could submit a video appeal explaining why you think YouTube is making a mistake. I didn't do that. All I did was just, you know, I, I talked to YouTube support, which was a bot and said, hey, I believe this is done in error. Da, 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 and they kicked back and they denied my appeal for the initial demonetization. Right. So I had I was forced to wait three months. Right. Made little minor tweaks to my channel, which I mean, really, I didn't do anything to my channel, dog, like because what they said I did was cap. Right, apply for monetization again in November, denied it again. But this time I made a video explaining why, like, bruh, y'all are tripping. Y'all, what y'all are doing is incorrect. I mean, I played the video for y'all that want to see it. Hello, my name is Stevie Knight. Um, I'm making this video in an effort to appeal a recent demonetization of my channel. Um, here is my YouTube channel URL, uh, and it's been stated that my channel was 
demonetized because I reuse content without adding any significant or original commentary or educational value. And um, I believe that this is a mistake. Every video I make that includes content belonging to someone else is drastically changed within production of my own content. Night Talk is a commentary channel where I provide my thoughts, perspective, and insight on different topics of, of which I select myself through research or through my followers who send me ideas, articles, and videos of things to address which they would like to hear my perspective and insight on. So here's an example of a video I've recently done and 90% and of the content that I produce on my channel will look like this once it's uploaded. So here's the intro. <laughs> that boy Pierce Morgan is putting in that work, bro. And this will, this will be me talking at the beginning of it, which will last a minute or two. And then it goes into me watching the video. Do that to two million people in Gaza. They could turn I'll off. I'll watch the, the video for a few moments, and then I'll provide my perspective on whatever I just watched. But one person I felt like I could rely on to to see that. Shit. And then I will continue watching it. Get my perspective what again. Actually, took place back then. And provide whatever additional took perspective. Took place back then, and people. Watch it again until its completion and then give my final thoughts and that'll be the end of the video. And how it is produced is I have my setup. I have a camera here, I have my mic here, I have my light here. I have a dual screen setup and I will talk into the camera, watch or read or review whatever content that I'm going to be using for the video that I'm about to produce. And I have a separate monitor that shows my camera and whatever I'm watching together that will be exported when I'm done recording and edited after. So for example, the video I just showed you, the raw footage of that looked like this initially. And here you have the entire timeline of the raw footage of both screens that were recorded. Me speaking, me watching it, me speaking, me watching it, me speaking. And then I will either edit it myself in Filmora or I will email it to my editor who will then email it back to me at its completion and then i will review whatever his edits are and then upload it to youtube from and this is the final edit that my editor sent me which i just showed you and then if there's any tweaks or anything that i want to do to it to make it look better then i'll do that and then upload the final video to youtube for my followers to enjoy um so as you can see here i significantly change any content that belongs to someone else that I use for my own video. And it should not be in violation of the reused content guideline that you have here. Every example that's provided within the description of what reused content is, is something I've never done before. It says clips of moments from your favorite YouTube shows edited together with little or no narrative. I've never done that. Short videos you compile from other social media websites. I've never done that. Collections of songs from different artists. Even if you have their permission, I've never done that. Content uploaded many times by other creators, I've never done that. And promotion of other people's content, even if you have permission, I've never done that. Every day, I review multiple things I want to discuss, whether it be videos, articles, an event going on, or just give my thoughts, record it, export it, edit it up, make it pretty, and upload it to YouTube. That's what all my content looks like. Nothing is ever simply reused. Once again, each time that I use original content that belongs to someone else for my video, I significantly change it. There's no minor adjustments made to anything. I provide my perspective, my insight, and my thoughts. I hope this resolves the issue. I hope I was able to express why I do not believe I'm in violation of your guidelines. And uh, thank you for your consideration. And then submit that and say, all right. We're going to review it. We're going to manually review it, right? We're going to manually review it. We're not going to have no bot. We're going to have somebody from the YouTube team look at it. We'll get back with you in 14 days. 14 days. 14 days, right? Nah, bro. It's been a month. <laughs> it's been a whole month. And I just been, you know, being patient, trying to be polite. I ain't trying to, like, piss nobody off. I think somebody just in a damn office just don't like my ass and just making shit difficult for me, bro. But it was, imp it was, it was literally impossible to say I was doing what they were claiming that I was doing after I submitted that video, right? Like, clear as day. I'm not reusing nobody in content, man. But, yeah, we here now, bro. And I just want to say, I say thank y'all to everybody. And if y'all, if anybody out here thinking about doing this, content creation shit or like if you're struggling with youtube now you know what i mean like you just just know that you in for a 
a rocky road when it comes to doing this, bro. They make it difficult, 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 difficult. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately for me, y'all, with me, y'all been holding me down this time, at least like with the engagement, keeping my traffic high enough while I'm relevant a little bit. <laughs> you know what I mean? But when I, bro, tell y'all, when, when I got demonetized the first time, bro, I was maybe, I was pulling in like 30,000 subs a month. I was making a significant amount of income per month, bro. And then like, once you get demonetized, the algorithm no longer messes with you. So I went from like 30,000, 40,000 subs a month down to right now for the month, I'm at 3,500 subs a month. You know what I mean? But beggars can't be choosers in this hoe, bro. Yeah, you got to just make it do what it do. Guys make it do what it do, dog. Like, it's been unfair. It's been fucked up. YouTube is a oh. <laughs> I probably should be, I, I probably should be nicer with the things I'm saying. Um, but I mean that's real dog. Like it's 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 unfair. And I don't I don't I don't like coming up here like complaining about shit to y'all, like giving y'all my my monkeys or your your or stress or making y'all be concerned about what the fuck I got going on. Everybody dealing with shit. You know what I mean? Life is unfair. It's just, it's just the way it is, bro. But with that being said, I still want to, like, let y'all know what I've been going through and then still help others that may find themselves in similar situations that I'm in and I'm probably going to continue dealing with because I'm saying, like, they can monetize it now, but they can demonetize it for some other bullshit and, you know, tomorrow or something, man. So, um, yeah, keeping y'all up to date. We back now. So uh, we can focus on more on-night talk. <laughs> I got to make sure I fucking cross my T's and dot my I's with this shit. You know what I mean? And we gonna make that happen. Uh, yeah, man. Love y'all. Sub to the channel. Matter of fact, make sure y'all are still subbed if if you think you are subbed. You know, they, they stay doing that. Merch. If you, all, if you like the shirts, y'all see, man. You still rock with me on my channel. Shops on uh, my, my uh, website. Shopstevenight.com. You'll get all of this and all of that. What else I got? What else I got? Oh. There's this. Three, two, one. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. All right. I'm sorry, What's brother. Baby? All right. Rain. What's up, baby? Oh, I'm um, In real talk, I want to make a video about that, but I'm still wrapping my mind around things, and I want to gather my thoughts before we, 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 we talk about that, but... We uh we had the gender reveal a couple weeks ago and they posted it on Instagram. Yeah, follow me on Instagram. Got all my links, description box below. And um, yeah, man, <laughs> we back for the moment.